me. <clears throat> well, I made it. I busted out of hospital and I made it to Cleveland just in time for the end of Raw. Now, it didn't matter that hours ago, Bianca Belair hit me as hard as she could in the throat, fracturing my voice box. Hitting me so hard that I was spitting blood all over the arena in Allentown. No, no, no. No, I made it here because I wanted to get my hands on Bianca Belair. And when she heard I was coming, she ran out of here. I asked around and they said she ran as fast as she possibly could. Didn't even take her bags. Now, you may be asking who they are. Well, they are from Cleveland, so I don't really care. Actually, it may have been Miss. Anyway, the point is... The point is, is that Bianca Belair has gone running scared, gone running with her little braid between her legs. Because, because she's doing everything that she can to try and get an advantage on me. Last week, she beat my beautiful mom bod mercilessly with her braid, scarring me up. And this week, this week, she left me lying in a hospital bed. Well, what did you think, Bianca? You think I was just going to sit there? You think I was just going to play Wordle? You thought I was going to drink some soup, eat some ice cream and forget about this. Let you have your way. Let you run raw. No, 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 Bianca. That's not how this works. And now you have no idea the lengths I am willing to go to to keep that title on my shoulder. I have kept that title on my shoulder for three years. And nobody, nobody has been able to beat me for it. And so you can ask yourself if this woman who was spitting blood hours ago is willing to come to Raw to find me, what's she gonna do to keep the most important thing on her shoulder at WrestleMania?